Hello everybody, and this is about a new book of mine that I'm just releasing to the public, and it's based on Einstein's famous equation, E equals MC squared, which we have all studied starting in about high school for most of us. And it's really the simplest formula in the world. That's why Einstein was such a genius. He could make the most complex things in the universe very easy to understand. This is actually energy equals mass times C is the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second. And then you square it. So matter, any amount of mass, even an ounce or a milligram or whatever, times the speed of light squared, 186,000 miles per second times 186,000 miles per second, billions and billions of, of numbers, the size of numbers. So multiply that by that, you get the amount of energy that can be gotten out of that. Extremely simple, easy to understand. That's how the atom bomb was discovered after Einstein figured that out. Now, what we're talking about, though, is something even more powerful than what Einstein discovered. And what got it going for me was the movie the Star Wars. And if you all saw that and were as thrilled as I was to learn about the Force, I started thinking about it. And it, wouldn't it be great if you could have those kinds of powers like Yoda had? He says, do or do not, there is no try. It was my favorite moment in that movie. And so actually... In the time since the movie was released, they actually have found the force. This is where they found it. This is called the La Large Hadron Collider. It's underground, 200 feet underground, 18 miles in circumference, big circle of these tubes that carry magnetic field, and they shoot the smallest particles in the universe at each other. They collide and they figure out what everything is made of in the universe. And recently, it's the biggest scientific experiment in the history of the world. And about two years ago, they discovered the God particle and the God particle field. It turns out that's the force. And that's what my book is all about. Scientists don't call it that. They call it the God particle field and some kind of a silly boson. But actually, they uncovered the force. And I've just figured it out from thinking the way Einstein did with thought experiments and so forth. And it's very similar to what he had, but instead of energy, we have the force. And instead of matter times the speed of light, we use time. Time is the element to determine the force, because only time is powerful enough. And when you multiply it by the speed of light squared, that's not enough. You have to go one more exponent and square it again, and it becomes, a, not squared again, but you multiply it again, and that becomes the cubed. So the, my book is called The Force Equation, and this is it right here. Through this equation, you can learn about how to master the force and use it against the evil empire. That's the funny thing about the movie. There really is an evil empire, but I'm saying it's not in a galaxy far, far away, folks. We have to fight it right here. This was the first emperor, and ever since this man, the world has been going down the path of the most evil direction you can ever imagine, and you can see why. With a mentality like that, we're going to blow ourselves up. Now, you can't allow people like that with this kind of power. That man was in charge for eight years of the, of the trigger that could have destroyed the entire planet. And we have to stop and think about that, folks. You cannot allow someone of that ilk, some of that low quality, to be in charge of whether or not he decides to destroy the entire planet. It's just not right. It's not moral, ethical, logical. It's certainly not democracy or anything political that, you, that I know of that makes any sense at all. It's just having a lunatic in charge of the asylum. We can't allow that anymore, folks. It's too dangerous. There's too much at stake. This is the only planet that we have. We can't throw it away and we can't take these kinds of chances. So you have to learn about the force because the force can only be used for peace. There is no dark side of the force. It can only be used for peace. And you'll find that all about it, how to get it, how the force can be strong within you. It is strong within me. That's how I figured this all out. And so you want to learn about it at, at, with my book available on Amazon called The Force Equation. I just showed you the equation. And it does work. It really does. You just have to study what it's all about in detail. It's not hard. Any, anyone past the age of reason can figure it out. It's really that simple. 
Same as the Einstein equation. No more difficult than that. And I just showed you that in the first part of this video. So it's found my, my book, The Force Equation, Unleash the Power, is available at Amazon and Kindle. And you can even order it at your local bookstore. They'll have to order it for you, but they can get it. And it's going to revolutionize the world. We have to defeat the evil empire or we're doomed. I just showed you why. You can't have too many of those people in charge. The guy after him wasn't much better. The guy after him or the lady after him isn't going to be any better. And you just can't put all that power in the hands of one person or one group. We have to take the power in our own hands. That's what this book is all about, how to get the force, defeat the evil empire and do a much better job than they, they could ever dream possible. It's on Amazon. That's a shortcut URL down there, tiny URL forward slash the force equation. But you can just look it up in Amazon or anywhere else they sell fine books. Thank you so much for watching and may the force be with us.